like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends. Also, follow me on my amazing Instagram page. Go to the Eric Tron 2 channel for full episodes of War on Earth and all that stuff. And go to Iron Kai's channel for gameplays. And peace. We are out of here. <sighs> what a heck of a day this is. And doing no more city form reviews. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see what's on see what's on Chosen Prime. What? No! Yo, what's up YouTube world? I animate them, I review them, Eric Tron here, and now it's time for another new Transformer review. And this time we're going to be taking a look at, yet again, another city former, Trypticon. This dude is awesome, but I must say, these reviews, they are, they take a pretty long time to make for a city former. Anyways, here's Trypticon and his awesomeness. The arch nemesis of the Autobot City Metroplex. It looks pretty cool. This was... Now Hasbro, they put up a voting poll of who would be the next city former for them to make. And there were three candidates. Um, Omega Supreme, Scorponok, or Trypticon. And everyone voted Trypticon. Because I guess it only makes sense because now that we have a Metroplex, we need a Trypticon. And I have a feeling that soon that we may actually get a Omega Supreme and a Scorponok at some point in time in the future years. But yeah, here's Trypticon. Um, go check out my vlog. Uh, it's, a, it's a video I made before the live stream. Um, you can see how we actually love this guy home on our bikes. So go check that out if you haven't already. But other than that, let's get on with the review, shall we? First, before we go on to the figure, we're going to take a quick look at the packaging. So, move this thing out to the side. And we're going to take a look at the packaging. And it is huge. It does have a little hole in it from us carrying it back home, but oh well. It, it does have a very nice artwork. As you can see, there's Trypticon, you got Six Shot and um, Black Shadow or Sky Shadow, whatever you call them right there. They're just flying around shooting at stuff, and I really don't know what's shooting at them. I mean, I don't see any Autobots in there. I mean, you see a little turret gun thing shooting at them. I guess so. Oh well. You just have his uh, giant city modes. You have all three of his modes, you have his robot mode, his nemesis spaceship mode, or what I like to call it, his battle station mode, and his city mode. Time to return Trypticon, Necro, comes with Necro and full tilt right there. Trypticon, Hasbro, ages 8 and up, Transformers logo font, Generations, Move up to the top, you got the Decepticon symbol, full tilt, Trypticon, three modes. Put it towards the back, you see all of his little functions. You can see full tilt plugs into his uh, his chest. He is also a transformer, transforming into a robot, to a car. He also got his little headmaster. There's a city mo. You can also plug cities into there. And there's his little eating gimmick. Blitzwing, Sky Shadow and stuff. Shows all the Headmaster gimmicks. And that's basically it for the back of the box. Rotate it around. We see Trypticon. More of these little warning stuff, warning signs, and copyrights and stuff. Copyrights at the bottom. The 
got the Transformers logo, authentic. And on the side you have this little Decepticon symbol and his bio. And you can read it in this language. You can read it in this language. And you can read it in this language. And you can read it in this language. You done reading it in this language? Are you done? I'll give you extra time. You're done. All right, you're done. Yeah, reading this, reading English. Pause it. Okay, there we go. And that's basically it for the packaging. Let's put this thing down, and we'll get on to Trypticon himself. Uh, okay, so now, um, if you see my unboxing video he does come in dino mode but in pieces he uh his legs come apart from the body his arms are folded up and that's basically how he gets packaged in so for this review i'm gonna start off with him in city mode oh yeah before we move on to the uh trip to con itself i keep on forgetting um he, mine actually came with two stickers. It comes with one, a total of 158 stickers on each sheet. There's no difference between the stickers. Um, they're basically the same sticker sheet, but mine's they, they just, it just came with two instruction manuals and two strict sticker sheets. So, in case you mess up, you always have a second one if you get lucky. And mine's also came with two trading cards. Here is the Trypticon trading card. It's Trypticon. And you have his stats. However, for the brains, I didn't expect his brain to be like... His intelligence is just at 10. I mean, I'd expect for his brain power to be at a low level. And he's at a 10, so he's kind of fast. Didn't expect him to be fast. Basically, he's all at a 10. And that's basically it. I dropped the card. Okay. So now for the trip to car review, I'm going to transform him in city mode and we'll be right back. Okay, so I transformed him into city mode and he is huge. Just look at that. Later, I will do a size comparison of him, Fortress Maximus, and Metroplex in city mode. Just to give you a look at him in city mode. You can see he's got tons and tons of detailing around. He's even got these little Titan Master or Headmaster ports where you can plug your Headmasters at. See that? Just, wow. This thing is just huge. Before I get into more of the city mode, I would also like to take a look at his little partner, Full Tilt. Now, Trypticon, he, um, the original toy, it had lights and sounds and he could actually walk. And I think that is a good sacrifice for giving him, um, a good Deluxe Full Tilt. You can see Full Tilt, he is a Deluxe class figure. It's got two stickers right there. He doesn't have that much. He, he only has two stickers, just one on each side. Comes with this little black gun. It is a it is a G1S gun. It's basically just an upscale gun of the original. And this basically he's got these tires on a pin. So yeah, and uh, comes with the little headmaster named Necro. You can take a good look at Necro here. Although Full Tilt, the original one, it was never a headmaster. I would like if Full Tilt was a regular transformer and not a headmaster, but oh well. What are you going to do about it? And on the inside he has these nice details on here. Have these little computer controls and stuff. And now to transform them, you just pull these down, 
pull these down. I guess you can remove the gun for clearance. And then you want to swing these out from the bottom. Swing these legs down on the knees. And then you want to close this up so it won't look hollow. And then you want to push this down towards the back. Do the same with that one. And close the crotch up. And then bring out the arms. Bring out the arms. And then swing out the hands. Bring this to the back. And it doesn't tab anywhere, it just hangs out the back just like that. And last but not least, we take little Nicro, Necro, Nicro, whatever his name is, Necro. Much like every other Transformer Headmaster, we just swing his legs up just like that. And there you have him in full tilt's head mode. And then you just head on and plug it into there. Now I must say, plugging Necro in here into a full tilt, it is a bit hard, and it is hard to take out but not to the point to where you're worried that it's going to break. It's just it's just a tight fit. And there's Necro. Give him his little gun. Necro in his robot mode. And my gosh, this is a good looking robot mode. While it doesn't have a lot of paint, much like the G1 toy, it did not have a lot of paint, but it does stand as a good action figure. Like, just looking at it, all the detailing going all around it is just pretty cool. It has like a blocky, basic robot look to it, kind of. Not like, I say it's kind of, not like a GoBot, but better than a GoBot. It's just, it's just really cool. And that's basically it for full tilt. Uh, now for articulation. His head is on a ball joint. So you can rotate 360. Arm is on a ball joint. 360. You got elbow articulation. It goes up to 90 degrees at the elbow. And then you also have a in and out wrist movement because of the transformation. And then... Um, you have leg movement, it goes back this far and up this way this far and 90 degree let knee bend movement and that's it for the articulation for full tilt now for the city mode we can show his features, you can see he's got these really cool ramps right there He's got like more pegs for these little Titan Master ports right up there. You got a peg right up there, 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 and there. It's just amazing. And unlike the G1 toy, it didn't have these little stands right there, but I think it's really cool that they added those little stands. You also have these little connector pieces on each tip of the city. So you can connect other leader class figures that can transform into bases and cities like um, Soundwave and Optimus Prime. You also have another part right here where you can connect cities and same as two over there. And uh, is there any parts you can connect cities? Nope, I think that's about it. He does have a little exposing hit syndrome back there. You can see the dinosaur head, but let's see if you can just... I guess that makes it a tiny bit better, but oh well. You also have a little door section over there. So you can put like your little Titan Masters. You can just like, you know, stand at the door or something, go inside the city in places so they can hang out or whatever yeah I, I also like how you have these huge skyscra skyscrapers right here you can also rotate them down to be like 
guns in defense for the city. You can also bring these up, these tips of the towers up, so you can make them like even bigger towers for the city if you wanted to. And um, it also has a feature like the G1 toy where you actually put a put full tilt or a car up there and you press a button and it rolls down this ramp and I will show that here are some size comparisons with full tilt here's Eric Tron you have him with a deluxe figure Voyager class and here's him with a leader class so you can see how he scales with all the other figures okay so here's a little gimmick with the car that drives down the ramp you just set your little car right here any car of a, any car of a sort they just have to be the last class and the original one like I said doesn't have the button but however if you lift this part up you can make them slide down the ramp like this oh, just gotta close that up and and it slides down the ramp just like so and this part it does transform up like this although I don't think you actually can store a car in there Let's see you can store a full tilt in there it only goes like that far into there oh well you know you can actually store a full tilt in there if you wanted to so yeah, you can actually store little deluxe class figures inside of Trypticon. So I'm going to bring Metroplex, Fortress Maximus down here into their city modes and I will show their size comparisons. This is Tron 2 News and we are coming to you live from Chopper 17. Alright guys, here is the size comparisons of Trypticon and City Mode compared to the other two cities. There's Metroplex. I think Metroplex is bigger, is taller in height. And I think uh, probably Fortress Maximus is longer in wait. Metroplex is, I think Metroplex is also longer in length too. Uh, yep, there you see. I have to raise my camera way up here just to show them. There we go. Okay guys, now that we're back at the table, let's transform Trypticon from a city mode to his battle station mode. Or his nemesis mode, what the instructions call it. So, first... What I like to do is just remove that. And we want to take that down. And we just want to rotate these turrets out. And then these are going to rotate down like that. And then you want to rotate the ramp up like that. That will tab into place. And then rotate these little guns up. And you want to swing these little ramps around like that. And then, let's see, I'll take the gun down. Um, and then uh, you want to rotate, you want to swing these little wings out. And then rotate his head up, so I'll ratchet right there, that'll become the thruster. And. We're gonna, we're gonna swing all this back. We're gonna peg this around. We're gonna peg all this into place. And then you're gonna put, you're gonna press this blue button right here. Without it, if you don't press it, you're gonna break something. You're gonna break a tab that locks this leg into place. So you're gonna press that blue button down. And then you're just gonna. Swing that out. And 
And then this is just going to peg right into here. Just like so. All right. And then we're just going to clip this over here. And this tab section is going to peg into this square hole. Just like so. And then we're going to do the same with the other side over here. Send this up. Blue button down. Tap this. Send this here. There we go. And then we're just going to send this around over here. Peg all this into place. And then we're going to peg this right here. And there you have Trypticon in his Nemesis Space Fortress mode. Right here. Just give a side view. Full tilt right there. And this thing looks amazing, but we all know this as. Trypticon's original battle station mode. That's why that's why I see it as. As you can see, it's meant to be the me the nemesis because you have these little wings right here. And then you have his guns from his back right here. And then you have two other little guns right here for the front. And this looks pretty cool. And again, if you want to, you can also store full tilt right here at the top of the ship if you want it to. Pegs in right there. So you have that for storage. And wow, this is just pretty amazing. You got two pegs right here. You can put little weapons or guns right there if you wanted to. Using full tilt gun as an example. Take full tilt back out. I guess you can use this as like another, like a third gun with this hole right there. And uh, if you want to, I guess you can store, like flip the ramps back out. Maybe it could be like some kind of flight deck for your aerial Decepticons or whatever. Your cons that turn to jets. You can see he has uh, his head right here just sticking out. You can fold it down if you want to. I choose to push it back up because it adds a little thruster to it. Because, you know, it's a nemesis. It's supposed to fly. And then, um, just look at it all around. You see a whole bunch of good detailing right around here. Which is pretty cool. And you got the translucent area to store your deluxe cars. And then um, you have all around, again, you have all these little pegs here, 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 here. You have a whole bunch of these little pegs for your little Titan Masters. And you got a little door section right there for, I guess, if you want to, uh, you know, show your little um, headmasters going in and out of the room right there. Uh, you can be like, hi, I'm Full Tilt. I'm going into Trypticon. This is where I party. I mean, you can try to put them in there. Like, you can't actually fit them in there. But it's just going to be a tight squeeze to take them out. So, yeah, and yet again, you got all these little pegs you can set up for your little Titan Masters or Head Masters. And that's it for his features and now here we're gonna do some size comparisons for okay for size comparison we have him with a deluxe figure here's him with full tilt and robot mode here we have him with a Voyager we have Astro Train and we have him with the leader class figure. We have him with Titan's Return leader class Soundwave. So that's him with the leader class. And 
just to make room. Here we have him with a masterpiece figure. Here's him with MP MP36 Megatron. So that's to show you how he scales with him. And our ship mode. Just move these guys out of the way. Spread them all out. And just for craps and giggles, here's him in battleship mode with me, Eritron. So that gives you an idea of how he scales with Trypticon. And moving on to the bigger size comparisons, I'll show you him with the other Titan figures in their battle station modes, their, their, their second modes. By the way, this thing does rolls. It has wheels. Yeah. Just like that. By the way, guys, this thing does roll. It has wheels. Yeah. Some tough wheels. This is Chopper17 from Tron 2 News. We are coming to you live. Airborne with footage of the size comparisons. There's Trypticon, Metroplex, and Fortress Maximus in their battle station modes. I think Metroplex is yet again the longest and the biggest compared to the two. So yeah, that's your size comparisons for the battle station modes. Alright guys, prepare for the final transformation. Let's transform this thing into Trypticon's Dino Mode. That was too dramatic, okay. So, first let's uh, fold the wings up and lay it on. Oh, this is new. Okay, so it looks like the pegs on the wings that are used for the Titan Masters. There are also um, holes for the wings to peg into, so that's pretty cool discovery. Alright, so just flip the wings in. And then you want to flip these things around, rotate them. And uh, let's see, rotate the little buildings up. And then we just want to flip this up and then press the button down and that will peg right into there. Very important to press this button down otherwise there is a little purple plastic piece in there, a little tab right in there at the top. If you don't press that button you're going to most likely break something. We're just going to swing the leg. And again, press the blue button when you're tabbing this thing in, just like so. Now tab into place. And then you're going to untap the leg from the square hole. Do the same with this side. And then push. this leg part out, push the blue button, push that in, flip the foot out, little toe, and then we're going to flip these little purple things out, much like on the G1 toy, and we're just going to rotate this up, oh yeah, you're going to have to also flip down this blue cannon right there yeah, okay We're almost done all right flip the arms down and this should peg into place and then untab the arms from the side rotate these out Arms down, adjust the claws the way you want them, 
and then rotate this head section. Oh my. That wasn't pretty. Okay. Just want to be careful with that, guys, okay? And then flip the head up. And then I guess you can either put the guns back or have them forward for defense mode or whatever. And he is done. You have Trypticon. And to finish the look, oh, adjust the legs. To finish the look, there's a little button in here. Just press it down. And hiya! He has a little gun that comes out like that. Alright, so. There's Trypticon in dino mode. Just wow guys, just look at the... It's just so highly detailed, like from the stickers to every panel lining. It's just amazing. Look at his claws and his teeth. They're just so awesome. He's got the little guns like on the original toy and on the, in the cartoon. He's got his little gun at the top with the little crest or the antenna or whatever. He's got his guns on the back. He's got the translucent legs. It's just awesome. Amazing detail go around this. And uh, the eyes, they do have stickers on them. They're golden stickers. Under them is this translucent orange. So if you want the translucent orange, feel free to not put the golden stickers on the eyes, but I chose to Put them on mine. You may we think to take them off. I don't know. But you do have that option. You have his Decepticon symbol on the side of his head. And one thing I've noticed on the stickers is that they each have these small little Decepticon symbols on them. I like how they built. They have. They put in a Decepticon symbol in some parts of the stickers. They even had a Decepticon symbol on the um, the front of the Nemesis mode. Which I should have showed that. Maybe y'all seen it. But you know what I mean. You have a, a whole bunch of these nice stickers on his legs. It did take a long time. It took me a total of at least 8 hours. So, yeah. Guess how much uh, sleep that I got last night after that? Zero. So, no, I had a, at least one hour of sleep in. But, yeah. It was all worth it. You have a bunch of these uh, little panel lining stickers right there. Like little Energon veins or whatever. His mouth does open up. And I will show a feature in a minute. Just going around on his back, you have his little fins. His dinosaur fins. It's pretty cool. But yeah, it's just amazing. So, going on to articulation, his arms go 360 degrees, they do go in and out, so you have some in and out movement. His arms bend up to here, and right up to there, a little bit over 90 degrees right here. Actually, I think that is 90 degrees right there. And uh, no wrist swivel, unfortunately. It would be awesome if he did, if he could rotate his wrist on his arms. But his claws do open and close for some, you know, some guys that are acting like, rawr, you know. And then um, his head does move up on a ratchet. It does move down. His mouth open up, like I said before. His head can also rotate a good 360 degrees. And the next part is important. It's a warning. Because I have made this mistake. Okay, so if your Trypticon has a problem in the hips, because I've heard this problem has been going around, and I should have modded mine before I actually went ahead and, you know, messed with this leg. This leg is fine. It's supposed to have a nice ratchet into it. But this one, the spring was so stiff in this hip to the point where you can't even move it, so... My dumb self went ahead 
and just rotated it to the point where I heard a big snap. And I'm like, oh no, that's not good. So, unlike this leg right here, this isn't a ratchet no more like it used to be. It's just a moving, non-ratcheted leg, just like that. So, if your leg is tight to the point where it doesn't move, I highly recommend mod the springs. Like, people have been saying cut them in half, and then there's one dude that said uh, you can mod your spring just by breaking it in, just like pressing it down and wearing it out to the point where it's not as um, tight as, uh, um, as it used to be. So that works as well. So I highly recommend, if you get this Trypticon and you open it up, please mod the hips if they're not as good. You may get lucky and you have both the hips you know, working well with the ratchets, or you might have one that's like mine where you have one ratchet that's working just fine and one that's just, you know, not into it, or both leg ratchet joints are just, you know, they're not good. So yeah, be beware of that. That is a warning. You don't want to make the same mistake I made. And then uh, his knees can also rotate, also on a ratchet. Just like so. Moves that far. And this thing keeps on opening up. I'll get to that in a minute. And then the same articulation at the knee. And then you also have ankle rocker movement, which is pretty cool. And that's also on a nice, loud, strong ratchet. And you also have the option to adjust the tail this far. You can also clip back into place. But you can also adjust it that far for other poses, if it's standing all the way up or whatever. And that's pretty much it for the articulation. One problem I do have with this is this thing, it keeps on flopping down like every time you move it, like, for example, like, oh, I guess it doesn't want to do it, but this side, it keeps on, you know, it, it doesn't want to tab in like the other side, but like every time you, you move it or like you move a ratchet, it's so sensitive, it just wants to fall down, but apparently it doesn't want to do it, it's trying to make a fool out of me, okay. So that's basically it for the articulation. Um, you can rotate the guns. You know, he can, he can move them to the front or move them to the back if you don't want them out. But you can rotate them out, and you can extend these so you can make them have bigger guns. So that's pretty cool. It's your option, your toy. You do whatever you want with it. Adjust them back up. And I think that's about it for the articulation. Uh, so I guess what's left is the features. Going back to the part where I actually push the button to unleash his little gimmick where the little antenna and the gun come out, um, you actually can plug a tightness and use that little gimmick. Like, for example, I'll take a little Necro here, and uh, if I just plug him in, that'll unleash the little gimmick and Usually the headmaster is supposed to plug in there, but for some reason Necro doesn't want to plug in there. I can't really see the little hole because I'm at the table. Oh, there we go. I think I think I did it. Yep, there we go. You can plug the, your little headmaster in there if you wanted to, but I can care less for that little gimmick. So I just use my regular, just use my finger to unleash that gimmick. And uh, one thing I really do get a kick out of 
is this one gimmick right here. I wonder if we want Megatron on the ground. Man on the table. So, um, you can open his mouth, and he can literally eat little Titan Masters. Like say, for example, take uh, Necro here. Although he wouldn't eat his own kind if he was mad at Necro for some odd reason. He can come down there like, oh, I'm getting eat up. Do you want more? Make sure you want some more. Want some more? Here, I take a little Dark Man. Oh no, he got him. He's eating up. Sound blaster. Oh no, 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 no. He's eating all of them up. How are we gonna stop him? He's being too greedy. Oh, here's a little Titan Master. I forgot his name, but he belongs to Double Cross. Oh no. Oh no, he's falling in there. Oh no. Oh no, he's about to eat Arcana. Oh no, no. He can eat, he can eat a whole lot of these things. Oh, oh no, it's Gort. Oh no, no, no. He's gone, he's gone. Oh no, Duros, he's about to go down. No, no, no. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's dead. Oh no. Oh no, he's about to eat Spike with Wiki. No, no. No, no. Oh no, he's about to eat little Stylor. No, no. He can eat a whole bunch of these. Um, uh oh, it's Hyper Fire. No, he's about to eat him too. Oh no! And what's awesome is uh, he also has these little pegs right there, so you can do a you know a little you know uh, I'm holding up his mouth. I don't want to get eaten up. So you can plug little Titan Mask here. Here I have a uh, Apex or High Q. And he's like, oh, I don't want to get eaten up. No, no, I'm trying my best to hold his jaw open. Oh no, he's gonna eat him anywhere. Oh no. Oh. He's all he's all done eating. Yep, they're all dead. He has his lunch. Mm, thing. Little headmasters are delicious. So yep, and to get all those little tight masters out, you just uh open this up and they all come out of his stomach. Just like so. And I think that's a really cool gimmick. I just love how he can just eat all those tight masters. Taking all of them out. Is that it? Yep, that's pretty much all the Titan Masters I fed him. Yeah. He's had a big lunch. Okay, so now for the size comparisons. Alright, first for size comparison, we have him with a deluxe figure. We have him with full tilt right here. And we have him with the Voyager. We have uh, Astro Train. So this shows how he scales with the Voyager. And for a leader class, we have him with a little sound wave right here. Time to return sound wave. For Masterpiece, we have him with MP36. Megatron with Takara. And last but not least, for the smaller size comparisons, we have him with me, Eritron. So that shows how he scales with a little G.I. Joe, like myself. So that shows you all the size comparisons, and he is huge. And now for the main event. We're going to compare him with the other two Titans. Almost forgot. The legs can go in and out a little bit for one click. And that's it. Anyways, for a size comparison, first Titan we have, we have Fortress Maximus. So just to show you. Uh, he scales Trypticon. And they are huge. As you can see, Trypticon, he's not that big, but his bulk sure does make up for it. He's Well, he's not as tall, I should say. But there's Fortress Maximus. 
and what you've all been waiting for. We're going to size compare him with his arch nemesis, Metroplex. And there he is. And these two, these two do, do look good together. This, they're, they're like a Optimus versus Megatron rivalry right here. Again, he's not as tall, but he is very bulky. But, being careful not to knock over Metroplex, you can try to make him taller just by stinging the legs a bit taller. Just like so. And you can get them to stand right up to there. So there you have them both. Man, they're awesome. It's like a Godzilla versus um Let's let's make trip let's let's make Metroplex some like a Megazord like it'll be like a Megazord versus Godzilla fight because these two they're like big gigantic cities and it, it looks like this will make a pretty good movie like a giant T Rex crushing buildings and stuff and then you have another giant come up and then bam they start fighting but yeah they look pretty cool. So that's it for size comparisons. And now we're going to go on to my final thoughts and conclusions. Alright, what are my thoughts on this figure? Overall, I think it's a pretty outstanding figure. It does pay homage to the original G1 toy from the 80s. And finally, we also have a giant titan that we can have rival against our Metroplex that we've gotten in what is it 2014 I think yeah we act, we we can finally have some good scenes where like we can make pictures of Trypticon fight Metroplex or just have them on display fighting Metroplex it's just a really awesome addition to your collection it also has some fun playability I love the features I love the feature where you can make him eat little tiny Titan masters and I most definitely love how you can, you know, put him into a city. He has a lot of playability in city mode. You can put many of your little Transformer figures everywhere. And I think it's really fun for kids to play with. And I think adult collectors also, oh yeah, and teenage collectors like myself, also enjoy seeing this on your shelf. So, I highly recommend picking him up. If you have Metroplex, this is a must have I can definitely see because in the future that prices will be climbing on this guy much like Metroplex his price will go up into I'd say about the 500s in the future that is if you're careful with his hips and you don't break them like I did at least a one hip but yeah this is a must have if you have him at a Toys R Us I highly recommend don't squander the opportunity pick him up of course, you may not want to, you know, pick them up on your bike like I did in my previous video because that took a lot of work trying to get him home. And even though he doesn't have lights and sounds, a deluxe figure of full tilt that's actually good, it actually makes up for those lights and sounds that weren't actually added to the figure. And I, I think the lights and sounds are not really worth adding to the figure. Because, I mean, it's not like I'm actually going to use the lights and sound features anyway. It'll just be on display with Metroplex. And it has a fair, decent amount of articulation. And I love the detailing. It, did, it does take a lot to put the stickers on. I warn you, you may need to use tweezers to apply the stickers. So, yeah, that's about it. I, I love this figure. Um... So I highly recommend pick this guy up. Alright, so that's about it. So like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends. Also, for to check out photos of this guy, um, go to my amazing Instagram page at Eric underscore Tron. And peace. We are out of here.
All right, Prime. Prepare to feel the power of my giant T-Rex. And his name is Trypticon. Okay, Erectron, is that how you want to play it? Then go up against my giant. His name is Metroplex. Alright, Prime, then let the battle begin. Oh, don't feel so good. Hey, yo, what did I tell you about eating too many Titan Masters? I told you not to eat too much before going into battle. Come on, man, you're humiliating me. Oh, can you please call it off? I think I'm going to throw up. No, no, not on me. No, no. Here it comes. <laughs> Trypticon, why'd you have to throw up on me? I don't feel so good. And next time, chew before you swallow. You know what? I give up. You know what? Let's just call a retreat. We're retreating. We're retreating. Come on, Trypticon. Let's go. Let's retreat. Let's go home. We're retreating. You win this battle, Prime. We're retreating. <laughs>